Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. Finally going to get my Morgan Dollar Collection updated, remastered as I like to say, and with the new lighting kit, I'm going to break out all my raw coins and uh, see what they really look like without the glare of the airtight around them. So, as many of you have known, I've been saying for some time I've been wanting to get this video redone. I've had some additions. Um, and I've replaced some of my cleaned ones with some originals. Well, non-cleaned, I should say. So, I've decided to go ahead and do this in some parts instead of making one long video. Although, there will be a long video when I put everything together, if you wish to watch that. But at, all, at the top there is all my raw. And I have all my graded at the bottom. I am two dates away from having a date set. I need the 1893 and the 1895. And I'm about midway to a little bit over 50% of having the complete business strike. It contains two Carson cities and a Redfield. So, let's sit back and enjoy the ride. Silver Steeler here with segment four. All my graded Morgan Silver Dollars. So most of them are NGC MS64. I only have a couple PCGSs in there. So let's start off with the 1878 San Francisco. It is NGC MS64. And they minted 9,774,000 of them. In my other video, I think I constantly said I love MS64s. I'm only going to say it this one time, and then at the end, I swear. Look at the... This one surprised me. It didn't get a mirror. It just needed a little bit more, I think. Very, very lovely coin. No exception to the back as well. Just overall, very, very nice coin. And there is your 1878. San Francisco, on to the next coin. 1880, San Francisco, NGC MS64. They minted 8,900,000 of these. Now these early 1880s in San Francisco, a lot of them survived. So a rather affordable price for an MS64. You'll pay around 75 to 80 bucks per coin. But uh, really nice, bold strikes. San Francisco was just on it with these Morgans back in the early days. And there you go. There's the 1880S MS64. On to the next video. 1881 San Francisco NGC MS64. There were 12,760,000 of them minted. Another good example. Of some nice bold San Francisco strikes. This is very, very shiny. Definitely some nice strikes out of San Fran. Anyway, there is your 1881 San Francisco. On to the next coin. 1882 San Francisco NGC MS64 on a little bit of a string with the San Francisco's there. Uh, they minted 9,250,000. I believe this one's got some nice tying going on. Yeah, there it is. I think the reverse is even better if I remember correctly. Just a little luster off that. Yeah, there it is. The blue and the, I don't know how well that's showing up. I'll see a little bit later, but yeah. Nice toning going down there around the 6 to 7 o'clock area on the bottom of the coin. Just nice blues off that. Anyway, there you are. That's the 1882 San Francisco. On to the next coin. 1886 Philadelphia NGC MS64. Minted quite a few, 19,963,000. 
and quite a few of them have survived. A relatively easy MS-64 to pick up. You know, somewhere in the neighborhood of $60 to $80 for that coin. And you can see why it got a 64. Very pretty. All right. That's your 1886 MS-64. On to the next coin. 1888 New Orleans MS-62 PCGS. And one of their older, it's not a Rattler, but it's one of their older uh, air tights that they had for these. They minted 12150000 for that year. And yes, I do like to get the 64s as much as I can, but here's a 62. And you can tell why. It's got some more scratches on her cheek and, you know, Orleans and their not-so-bold strikes didn't help any. Still pretty coin. So there you go. There's your 1888 New Orleans MS-62. On to the next coin. 1897 Philadelphia MS-64 and GC. They minted 2,822,000 of these. So you're starting to get into some low mintages here. This probably will cost you anywhere between $100, $125, So it's a nice one to have in the collection. You got some really nice bold luster to that one. Yeah, that was a good looking coin. So there you go. There's the 1897 Philadelphia MS-64. 1898 Philadelphia NGC MS-64. They minted 5,884,000 of them that year. So up their production a little bit. And... Uh, Not too hard of a one to find. Some nice cartwheeling going off there. And the back is pretty as well. Love my Morgans, and I really do like the 1898 Philadelphia MS-64. On to the next coin. 1898 New Orleans NGC MS-64. Or 4,440,000 of them minted. So starting to get some lower mintage numbers towards the end of that century. Some good toning going on across the top there. But for a New Orleans coin, this is a, it's a really nice one. This is one of my favorite New Orleans ones in my collection. Not the, but it's up there. We're getting close to my favorite New Orleans here soon. But this is a nice example. There you go. That's an 1898 Orleans MS-64. On to the next coin. 1899 New Orleans NGC MS-64. Well, they really ramped up production this year. And this is sort of the years where New Orleans, you'll typically find more of these in better conditions than the Philadelphia and San Francisco because they really started tapering off on some of their mintages. So here they minted 12,290,000. You know, if you're trying to complete a date set and go after those graded Morgans, you're going to find yourself in these years gravitating to the New Orleans because they just are a little bit more affordable if you're trying to get that date set going. And you can find them in relatively good condition. This is one of those examples. There's an 1899 New Orleans MS-64. On to the next coin. 1900 New Orleans NGC MS-64. Again, with a high mintage that year of 12590000 Again, New Orleans started minting the most of these coins compared to Philly and San Francisco. But nice, strong luster off that coin. Nice cartwheeling. 
Beautiful, bold strike. If it probably wasn't for that chin damage or cheek damage, this probably would have been a 65. Because the back is a beautiful. Very nice, well struck coin. And there's your 1900 New Orleans MS64. On to the next coin. 1902 New Orleans NGC MS64. They minted 8,636,000 that year. So they're starting to taper off from the high mintages that they had before. You know, a lot of these have survived too compared to the Phillies and San Francisco's of these same years. So an affordable coin, if you're trying to get that date set going, you'll spend anywhere between $75 to $100 on this. But, uh, yeah. Beautiful coin. Nice strike. There's your 1902-0 MS-64. On to the next coin. 1904 New Orleans PCGS MS-64. And they minted 3720000 So, mintage is continually declining on the production of them because they're starting to run out of silver bullion for these coins. You know, but out of all the years that I've seen, 1904, there are a lot of these examples around. They So, the population of surviving is quite high with these coins. So, you know, easy price. And this is one of my favorite New Orleans just because... It's just a white blazer. This thing is just, looks like it was made yesterday. Just beautiful. That back is equally as beautiful. So, you know, that date set you're trying to get? Get 1904-0. Pretty affordable. Good looking coin. There's your 1904-0. PCGS MS-64. On to the next coin. 1921 Morgan NGC MS63 from Philly. My least favorite Morgan dollar is the 1921. No matter whether it's Denver, Philadelphia, or San Francisco, they don't care for them that much. A lot of people are of the same opinion as mine, but you got to have one to complete the date set, right? So I got one. Actually, I got a bunch of 1921s because you can pick up BU specimens for, I don't know, what? 17 18 bucks i can go down to my lcs look like they were made yesterday so they're very very affordable i've got one to complete the date set you know and eventually i'll get a san francisco and denver i don't even have those two yet so it's not very very hard to get those we'll have them one day so there's your 1921 philadelphia morgan and that's going to be the end of segment three uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. Let's stand by for segment four for those that are watching the full vid.